Well, oxygen is an incredibly famous element. It's one that we hear about all the time because, of course, we're completely reliant on oxygen for respiration. And yet, at the same time, it's completely invisible. Because it's a gas, we, we never see it. And so what, are, what I want to do is to actually make it visible. And to do that, we're going to actually liquefy the gas. Now, oxygen liquefies it in an almost impossibly cold temperature. In fact, for a long time, people thought it couldn't be liquefied. That temperature is minus 183. And to be able to achieve that, we're actually going to use another gas from the atmosphere, in fact, again, liquefied, uh, liquid nitrogen. First of all, you can't make oxygen. Remember, it's an element, so it's already there. But what we've got is oxygen in a cylinder. And these black cylinders with white shoulders are, are always the, the, the telltale sign that what we've got is oxygen there. It's a pressure regulator over the top. And what we'll do is we'll actually open the cylinder and start blowing the gas through this hose. So let's just get this going. In a moment, we'll hear a telltale hiss. Hope you can, you can just hear that. OK, and so our oxygen gas is actually flowing through this coil. I'm going to get my safety specs on because I'm now going to take liquid nitrogen. And as I said before, um, this stuff is at minus 196 degrees. So it's, it's about 10 degrees cooler than the point that oxygen liquefies at. So here we go. We're basically going to fill this tank up. And if you're wondering about the tank, well, this is actually just a thermos flask. It's nothing more than that. We call it a Dewar flask after James Dewar, who is really one of the pioneers of liquefied gases. So we're going to turn up the oxygen flow. And then what we'll do is we'll collect the liquid as it dribbles out. It's going to take a moment for it all to cool down enough. Now, if you start looking into our, our Dewar, you actually bring the camera in nice and close, you can start to see that there's a weird kind of bluish-green sheen in there. And it's very important because oxygen is really quite unique in that it's not colorless. So I think we've collected enough oxygen. And now we should actually go and take a look at it. And what we'll do is we'll pour it into this beautiful clear thermos so that we can see the color more clearly. So I'm just going to turn off the flow of the oxygen. I'm going to pull the coil out. And you can see a little bit of a squirt there of the liquid oxygen coming out. And now I'm going to pour it into this Dewar flask. And what you see is this splendid, pale blue boiling liquid. That's liquid oxygen. And that's the stuff that's used to put the space shuttle into space. It's one of the most potent oxidizers around. What is fantastic about biological systems is their ability to be able to pick up a molecule as reactive as, as oxygen is and to be able to use it very, very carefully to be able to unlock the power that's locked up in its bonds and transform that into useful growth, useful motion, life.